All right, just wanted to create a quick little video this morning in Fusion 360 to make a box with a lid. So if you see what we have here, we have a rim here and a lid that just kind of fits on the box nicely. So that's kind of, again, what we are going to go over. I'm going to try to make a tight fit on this, but it still needs to have a bit of a fit. Um, you're going to make the box a rectangle and curve the edges. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we should always do is when starting Fusion 360, is we need to go over here, right click, make a new component, and this is going to be my box. Very good. And I'm going to right click and make another component. This is going to be the lid. Gotcha. So if you see over here, this right here is the whole sketch, and these are the different components that make up the sketch. And that's how Fusion 360 works. There's a whole bunch of components that then we can, uh, later on I'll show you how to join together. So. Let's start with the box. Um, as always, start a new sketch, pick a plane. I'm just going to pick the XY plane. Uh, I'm going to search, pick a rectangle. Uh, for this box, let's go 120 by 120. I think that's a reasonably sized box. Uh, before I go on, I'm going to use the fillet tool and I am going to come in here and fillet all the edges. Uh, notice that I'm clicking on the, the edge or the line and that's going to do that. Now, that's way too aggressive of a fillet for me. I want something a bit subtler, so it's right now at 30 millimeters. I'm going to go down and take it down to 10. And I think that's a much nicer box. Again, your preferences may vary. So we have this, so I'm done with the sketch. And the next thing I do is I'm going to extrude the box up. So I have a very wide box. I don't want it to be that tall, so just 80 millimeters seems perfectly fine for me. Um, so I hit the extrude. I'm going up and doing that. All right, so I have a cube. I have a children's play toy. Uh, we need to put a hole in the top. So I'm going to take the top of this box. I'm going to right click on it and go to create sketch. Uh, once there, I'm then going to use the offset tool, which is also O, and I'm going to select this edge. Now, if I go outwards, that's a positive direction. If I go inwards, a negative direction. Uh, I, don't want the, I don't want it to be too big. So I think I'm just going to type in negative eight as my offset and I'm going to be happy with that. Take a look. That looks right. That's going to become the whole of the box. So finish my sketch. Uh, hit E for extrude again. This time I'm selecting just the center. All right, this time we want to go down. Now I know this box is 80 and I could type in like 75 or something like that. But the other trick I can do is I can come over here into the menu and I can select to object and I want to extrude to the bottom of the box. Now I have a hole through my box. I have a, you know, a, that's sort of a spaghetti noodle. But then I can offset this by negative eight, or in this case, let's say negative five. The bottom doesn't need to be that thick. Um, so I have a box with a bottom. I'm happy with this. So before we go over and start working on the lid, we need to make space on the lid for that. So remember, this is eight millimeters thick. So I'm going to right click on this, create sketch. And then um, I'm going to again use the offset tool, select this, and I'm going to come in by negative four millimeters. So now I've bifurcated this, split it in half. Um, I'm done with my sketch. I'm going to hit extrude, select the outer rim, and I'm going to go down by negative 10. So 10 millimeters down. So now I have a box with a lid. So the next part of this is going to be the clever part. I already have the features I want in the lid of this box, and I'm going to project those up into the sketch for the lid. So, hmm. now I made a small mistake, so this is not that big a deal, but I've been sketching this whole time on the lid. I should have gone over here and checked. So this is the lid, this is the box. You notice the button here is selected for the lid. Not that big of a deal. I could just come over here, rename this to box hmm. two because I can't have two things named the same thing. And then I can come with my lid and I can uh, rename that to lid. Let's go lid two just to keep the convention, just to be silly. All right, so anyway, not that big of a deal. Uh, I have my box. Uh, this would have been a bigger deal had I already had different components. But again, we can just rename things. Uh, but we do want to make sure our names make sense and are useful. All right, so now, if you notice, when I select over here, I can check this. And now that has been transparent because I'm no longer working on the box. I'm now working on the lid. If I want, I can click the eyeball and hide 
the box, but I don't want to do that yet. So as always, we're going to start a new sketch. So I can start a sketch down here on this plane, but I can also, notice, start a sketch up here on the surface of this box. Okay? Now, the next thing I want is I need to pick up some of the features from here below. So if I search for project, that allows me to project features. And I want to, this is the important part. I want to bring though that outer rim up. So now those features are in my sketch. So um, I'm going to then uh, finish this sketch, hit extrude, click there and there, the whole surface, and we're going to make a five millimeter lid to this box. We are good so far. Now we just need to make the lip. So we're going to come down to the bottom side of this box. I don't need to see the box anymore. I think I'm pretty good. So if I right click on that, I'm going to go to, notice I just hid the box, create sketch on the bottom. All right, well, use the offset tool and I'm going to select this rim. Now I know that I made myself a four millimeter lip. Well, I can go negative four and we're good, but that's a very, very tight fit. So why don't we say 3.8? So that means a little bit of tolerance there. I'm going to hit OK. So now I have a rim around that. We finish the sketches we've been doing, hit extrude, select that, and now I need to come down. Remember the other one was 10 millimeters deep? I'm gonna make this 11 so that it, I know that it's gonna fit all the way down, get a good, nice fit, and hit okay. And if I bring my box back, you will notice we have a box with a lid. Um, now, uh, the clever among you will see that they overlap a bit. That's not that big a deal because the next step is I would uh, join the two together and define a motion, but that's for another day. So if I want to see everything all together, there we go. There we go. Box with lid. All right. Hope that's helpful.